Ah, good afternoon, people. Welcome to, again, another adventure of Realm of the Fallen Angels and Alliance. We have Necrolord here. Uh, he's uh, one of our Alliance members, uh, runs his guild. And it's me, Emelyn, the one of the Helm leaders. Uh, we are Master Crafters, and one of the things that people have asked us a lot is uh, our gold. In Master Crafting, it sucks gold like crazy. So we, we have Tannis here. That's his gold hunter. This is Emelyn, my gold hunter, my main. Right Hello. now, I'm in combat mode. And uh, Necro here, he's uh, in his gold digger, basic gold digger mode. We're going to go through stuff. Um, but we're going to give you an example of one of the things we do. There's a nice little mob over there. So let's go kill that mob and see how much copper we get off them. Let's go. Yeah, the only thing that sucks gold faster than Mastercrafting is the IRS. So what we're doing here is we're going to watch how much gold we got. So I got 62 copper off that. I got a piece on the ground here. I got two silver this and one eight copper. And one and silver, uh, 84 got... copper. So mine, you saw the same type of numbers. We're gonna go back to the fire here. We are go I'm gonna switch to my gold digger mode. Then we'll explain our gold digger mode here. Uh, you can see in my stats here, I'm gonna scroll down. My uh, current gold, okay, gold bonus is 48%. So I'm gonna switch to gold digger. <laughs> and I even, and then I'll go through uh, organized yeah. stuff. Yeah, the reason I was getting more than Emlyn was there at the moment is I'm actually in my gold digger mode. And if you're in my video, you can see that my gold bonus is at 395.2%. And I just switched to my gold digger mode. And in my screen, you can actually see we're at 750. And we'll go through some stuff. Um, if I take stuff off my alts, I can actually get that above 1,000. So what we're going to do here is go look for another mob. There's some demons over the hill, so we're going to go head towards the no sympathy and kill some demons. And so one of the things I do, uh, I don't know if Necro does the same thing I do, is I change the color of my outfit, I change my mount, um, so that I know that I'm in uh, gold digger mode. Let's kill these guys. Um, that way, when I go into gold digger, I'm not in my gold digger mode when I'm running ice. Uh, my hunter is just basically triggered strictly for gold digger. So. And no loot on the ground. We got robbed. <laughs> Next group. <laughs> Someone stole the gold from the thief. I chased your oh, there we go. Gold drop here. Yeah, I'm still, you know, right, so I get my silver plus, silver plus about 50 copper. And I'm getting two, one, two silver, one silver, uh, then of course my pearls. Um, so we're getting a little bit more here. Now again, this is just a basic, uh, basic uh, in our stronghold. I'm going to send you a oh. few invite here actually it says right so we're here invite them to... Here, yeah it says right here like I got 214 copper 125 copper in my log so yeah it's all 214 124 um, I'm not sure if we're actually feeding off each other or... um, we might be feeding off my gold bonus so what I'm going to do is actually uh, I'll drop group here I'm going to go down there. Uh, you can kill them too, and let's see what our gold uh, readings are. Okay, so. Uh, 2.9. Uh, 98, 194, 158. Yeah, so it looks like on our. Uh, Let's kill these guys here. I think that would be nice if that's what you doing. Feeds off the highest gold bonus in the group. 
Maybe. I'd be nice. Everybody would be feeding off my thing. Where I got there. Well, what would you get on that group? Uh, I didn't get any gold. You'd take me off, too. I'm gonna go over here to this different group over right. here. Five. I got, yeah. I got 5.7 off that one. No. So this one here, I got 5 silver again. And 5 silver, 5.7. Okay. 5.7. I got 332 copper. 332 copper. 332 copper. So it looks like it. The, the group leader is what it sets the gold bonus at. So. Okay. Let's. Uh, well, here, send me. Uh, back together here. Send me a group invite and I'll yep, see if I get more. Like the group. Let's go get in. There's a uh, mob back up here. So we'll show you how we do these. Right now we're just kind of farting around. Never done this with uh, two point. Yeah. See, I've dropped. Uh, uh, I'm now getting. It's doing an average. Uh, I think is what it's doing. Yeah. Uh, two two uh, two hundred fourteen. Two hundred fourteen. Yep. One twenty four. That's what I got too. So it averages out the gold bonus of the group. Yeah. So um, if you're helping each other, it's probably going to be beneficial, right? In in my view, two of us running around. The advantage I say about that is. If Necro goes out and starts killing spiders, and I go out and start killing some other stuff, it'll share that goal. Right. Uh, now, what I do is, I normally, every morning, when I get up, on this, get up in the morning and do my, my stronghold stuff, I'm actually in my gold digger mode. I do my Dread Ring, I do my Well of Dragons, uh, or whatever. I do my Dread Ring mode, and I watch my Necro fight here. And you'll see this connection, and it's gonna start picking up stuff. And I'm going to be getting it here, 214, 124, Yeah, that's, that's why I ran out there, just to kind of verify it. So, you do that, and then I'm going to go kill this other mob over here, and he's not going to fight in a second. Um, still fighting out in the distance? Yeah, he's got a bunch. But as I'm picking up stuff here, he's going to be getting gold flashing on his screen. Okay. It's like the black pearls, I'm in uh, the etc. I'm in the clear. Yes. Did I drop anything? Well, uh, what character are you doing it on? I prefer to do it on DPSers as a gold digger. Um, you, you can make a very basic uh, loadout. No gold drop on that one. Let me get this next mod. Um, so the, the nice thing is with the DPSers is you can do um, your AD, well, not necessarily the AD run. Yeah, you should be getting gold there. Um, yep. You can do your Shalandar, your Dreadring, Well of Dragons, uh, Icewind Gale uh, with a very minimal um, build. Uh, if we go back, we're going to run back to the fire there real quick, uh, Necro, and then uh, show the item level. And we'll start going through some of the gear uh, for people to, to see what we're talking about. Um, yeah. So, basically what I've done is, on my character, is I have multiple pieces of gear. You don't want to see my bank. Um, <laughs> so, you can see here... Uh, I'm actually running my um, Orcus set uh, hey. on my Gold Digger build. Uh, the reason I run Orcus is, or my Demi set is, uh, the Demi set is a nice set. Uh, however, the new set in the new dungeons is where you want to go. Um, you can also see I'm running uh, Mako Signet, which you get from Icewind Dale. Uh, that um, ring, the only reason I use that is it has a utility slot. Uh, you can actually see I have my quartermaster in there, so we're going to run to my bank and I'm going to throw in a plus nine. Um, in a minute. Actually, let's, let me see. I'm going to summon my bank while I'm thinking about it. Uh, the quartermaster is another story. I did a quick video on that. Oops, wrong, wrong um, 
Oh, okay. oh, geez. <sighs> I'm new at this video stuff, so I'm letting you guys know. <laughs> Necro's pretty new at it, too. Uh, let me grab my... I got a rope nine here. Okay. Well, while you're doing that, let me kind of go over my basic stuff, too, here real quick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. If you want to, uh, I'm not sure if you want to inspect me so they can see the gear I'm running. Yep, give me two seconds and I'll uh, inspect you. Okay. Move. Now with the gold digger build, I myself, I'm using uh, in the artifacts, uh, with the gold digger, you want to use Skull Lord Staff and Aura's Whole Realms Catalog because they are the two artifacts that actually give you a gold bonus as well so we'll go over yeah we're gonna i'm gonna add, add to this real quick um you can see the color of his his whole realm catalog he's running purple uh his skull staff is orange um his uh he's getting a 16 percent gold bonus on his uh catalog and a 23 percent gold bonus on his skull staff now if you go to my character right now if you look at my two things my catalog is giving me 25% gold and my skull staff is giving me 25% gold bonus I'm not sure if there's another artifact I think these are the two, only two artifacts these right? are the only two artifacts I've found yeah it's the same here um, so the uh, now do you, uh, let's uh, inspect so if I was going to give um, Necro uh, advice uh, I would say complete your um, ice wind, uh, not ice wind, um, campaigns, um, Storm King Thunder. Uh, in Storm King Thunder, you can get Mako's Ring, right? which is going to give you an, another utility slot. I believe I have uh, on the, this character, and I think I actually crushed the ring. <laughs> uh, no, don't worry, I my beginning days I've done the same thing uh, that was before uh, I knew talking knew about, about crunching gold digger yeah 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 that's the same thing before before I like to talk about crunch, crunching is there was a uh, pair of gloves that you got out of Bolivia, uh that are character bound I believe and I crunch those not knowing it had a utility slot um, otherwise I'd have them on there's a set of gloves that you get from under mountain uh, the starting set that you get from Lord Nowhere that for there's a chance with every attack you get gold. I will have to double check that one. I might have to go farming. Uh, so you can see. No, no, you mode. only get it when you start the account. You get them from Lord Netherwinter when you start the Undermountain campaign. Jeez, oh, I'm punched on that. Uh, one guess again. what? I crunched them on this character too, so I'm out Mako's ring and those gloves. But I have them on my okay, well, second gold digger account. Case, right? <laughs> yeah, I have them on my second gold digger account, which is my dwarf. He he'll get. He's working on getting Mako's ring. He's got the gaunt, the gauntlets for the gold. He's it's upgrading these, so that one's going to become my primary gold digger once he's leveled up. But for right now, this one is due to the fact that this is just oh. not a gold digger. This one's an asset digger because. It also cultivates yeah, you... astral diamonds as I fight. Yeah, because so you're using that mountain signature uh, bonus. Um, so here, I'll that's, uh, and then yeah, see, because yeah, there running, um... there's five mounts that you can do this with, uh, like the uh, deep crow. Uh, with three enlightened insignias. You get what's called Traveler's Treasures, which upon defeating an enemy, it will give you rough astral diamonds. And there's five mounts. It's the, uh, there's Tensor's Floating Disc, the Train Baskets, which you can actually buy from the Zen Marketplace. So whenever you create a new character, you automatically get him. So you can automatically get the ability to put, start farming astral diamonds the moment you create your character. Then there's Tensor's Floating Disc, Apparatus of Qualsh, Legendary Adam and Decrow, and the other one is, I think it's, 
a mount that looks like a beholder. Um, yeah, the, the tank, the holder tank, I believe. Yeah, that one also has the ability um, to have the three insignias, the three enlightened insignias. Uh, yeah, there's also, um, I'm just going through my, uh, my characters here, um, is, I just saw it here, uh, in, no, no, that's, uh, got to crack up in there. I saw one illuminated, illuminated, illuminated. <coughs> but mind you, it's not really a lot of astral diamonds you get per kill. So, but it's still something. So while you're running around digging up gold, you can be getting astral diamonds as well. Yeah, and the other thing you could be doing as well, um, if you're doing stuff, is I also have a build uh, where in my helmet I have a quartermaster, in my gloves I have the dragon horde, and then in my boots I have the fey, which is giving you refinement. Um, so it depends on what you're doing, but right now with the gold digger mode, uh, the advantage of it is because of professions. It takes a lot of gold. Uh, so uh, and other, other diamonds. places that will, will <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it depends on what you're building too, or making. Um, so we'll go into I'll go into mounts real quick, and, and you'll see in here. Um, I've got a couple blue ones insignias because uh, I, I just don't have the um, I don't have the legendaries yet. I'm waiting for the new mod. I'm not going to go out and buy anything. Um, but your prosperities that also gives you your gold bonus um, right in there uh, other so you can see if, if I go into my mounts here I went into a my legendary one is giving 16% gold bonus and your blue one here are giving you 4% I've, got, up, I've right? got a purple one that gives 8 and green that gives 2% so it, it goes up two, four, eight, sixteen. It doubles in each tier. Yeah. See, and now I, all my primary prosperities are actually on my healer right now. Um, so yeah, eventually I'll get this guy up. Yeah, and the nice thing oh, is, like, I've I've had my I've had my or before I did my healer, um, my gold digger was over a thousand percent. Yeah. Um, but you nice... can see my stats right now. It's combat ready for yeah. basic stuff. Yeah. Um, nice thing with the prosperities is you can mix the enlightened insignias because they have the prosperity. So once again, you can get the gold bonus and the astral diamonds with it. So it's kind of a twofer right there. Because I, like I said, I fill all mine with the enlightened insignias of prosperity. No, I'm just going to hop over Necro here. You can see in his gloves, he's running a rank 9 Radiant. That's a 27% uh, gold bonus. Uh, if I go back to my character sheet, again, my good, I'm just going to go by weapon here. My good stuff is in my offensive. Uh, my Radiants that are lower levels, I don't use anymore. Um, they're in my utility slots. So I think I have a rank, no, I have a rank 10 here. It's 32%, or sorry, rank 9. No, nope, rank 10, 32%. Um, all the way, if I remember, 15 is... Um, In your terror grips, you got a rank... 60%. Yeah, it's like 60, 62%. All right, now, the other reason we want gold is when you got... If you're switching uh, enchantments all the time, it costs you gold uh, to switch them out. Uh, so if I go in manage my enchantment, if I want to take this radiant off and remove it, um, wow, it's going to cost me 14 copper. Mm. <laughs> it, I think it depends on the equipment. It depends on the piece of equipment, too. I've noticed because I removed a rank 15 from like a weapon and it was like a silver and something. But then when I went to remove it from like a piece of armor, it went to like a gold and something. Well, let's uh, try that. Uh... Yeah, yeah, my armor is costing me two gold. Yeah. Two and a half gold. 
Now, here, um, here's something so, I want to touch on real quick. Even if you're not in Master Crafting, it is still good to have a Gold Digger build. One, for the enchantments. But two, if you go into the Trade House, and I think it's under Miscellaneous, if you type in Gold Bar, you for each one gold coin that you have, you can buy what's called a gold bar. You can then put them on the ash, the the trade house, and you can sell them. One gold bar is running right around two hundred and fifty astral diamonds. Master people who aren't have a good gold digger build are good at need gold. They're going to go here to buy gold bars. To sell them for one gold coin so even if you're not master crafting you use a gold digger build to build gold bars and you can get extra astral diamonds right now a thousand gold bars are keep, selling keep, keep, keep talking about it I'm just gonna I'm just gonna quickly jump over to protectors enclave show okay. people where they can buy those gold bars okay so keep going yeah see so right here a thousand gold bars are going for two hundred and thirty thousand astral diamonds. So you can use a gold digger build to build up your astral diamonds to get better equipment. So the gold digger build is not just for master crafting. Yeah, it's also like as as Necro was saying, it's to make AD as well. So I'm going to go over here, uh, buy gold bars, which is. Who sells it? The materials guy? No. Uh, any general... No. Nope. General merchant. Any general merchant. Let's double check the potion guy here. We're going to go down to the bottom. There it is. I just passed it. Gold bar. So one gold. I can buy one gold bar. So if you have 500 gold, you buy 500 gold bars. Uh, and that was selling for how much? Can you see me? Uh, uh, a thousand was 230. Times. So you're going to look in about 150. Yeah, so, yeah, 500 sells for 109. Like right uh, here? Now, I'm, I'm, o I'm over here at the Consumables Merchant, and he sells them too. Yeah, so basically any merchant here. So we're going to go here. Just so show you what your, uh, this guy, actually this guy doesn't sell one. Yeah, so I'll see. double check here. Yeah. I'll go to this guy, we'll double check. Now, like I said. He doesn't sell them. You. I've got 13 gold right now. See, so I can buy 13 gold bars, which I'm going to do. The nice thing about it is when you go to sell them, you get the same price back. So you don't lose anything by buying and selling gold bars. Now, what I do as a master crafter as well is uh, I, people will go and say, oh, can you make me this? Oh, yeah, you give me gold gold bars right and then i'll use the gold bars to make gold now i just ran into my workshop just to explain why as a master crafter we want these things uh metro you're probably going to want to head to yours i am headed uh, there now so um what level is your master craft and uh let's go no i know yours is um your power reinforcement kit um is uh that's in here. Um, blacksmithing. Blacksmithing. Okay, so uh, bring up your blacksmithing menu. I will as soon as I load in. I guess I could have just used I'm the sending down. stone and pulled up the menu anywhere. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to scroll here. So the power kit. You can see the power kit's using AD uh, as a commission. Uh, but if I, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the Master Craft and I'm going to do my blooms, amateur blooms, as an example. I just went scrolling past it like crazy. There we go. Uh, so you can see that it takes one goal to make one of these. Uh, if I use my tools uh, to bring them up and bring out my Master Craft, so I'm going to use this guy. So this guy here, you can see, if I want to make it, it's going to cost me two and a quarter uh, gold. 
Now, I have a Master Crafter, and Necro has a Master Crafter that's actually a minus 75% commission actually, multiplier. I've actually got that one up on my screen, so it's cut my cost down to 25 silver. Yeah, so now what we can do is if we go back, I'll, we'll explain how to get these good profession guys on another video. Uh, we're just explaining why us Master Crafters need gold. Uh, again, if we go back to our power kit, you can see that it's dropped to 31,000 uh, uh, AD. So, versus 125,000, and if you have a shitty artisan, right, that's 218,000 cost to make one. But they're selling on the market for about 40 to 50,000. Um, so, yeah, it's we're saving AD. Uh, I do it for a lot of my guild and my alliance guys. I trade uh, enchanting stones for cost to cost on making uh, making these, these power kits or, and the crit severity kits. I just uh, made three. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I could probably... Uh, no, I'm out of um, I'm out of power. I'm going to make my power potions. Uh, they're all my other two. Um... Well, the thing we didn't cover yet is the companions. Um, so, there's a couple companions that you can use. These, there's one that's the uh, Star of Simril. You get that in the winter event. When you get that up there, it uh, actually brings up your percentage as well. Uh, my Star of Simril is actually blue. Hold on, let me... 2%. Let me look to pull up my event menu and go to the Star of Simril. So, because I don't have it yet. The Winter Festival, Star of Simmeral. There it goes. Starts at one percent at green. Yeah, so it's one. Per so it's going up one percent every level it goes up. Now, can you buy the Star of Simmeral right. off of the trade house? I'm not sure. Let's check. Um, companions. Uh, yes, you can. They're going for 69000 70000 right oh, now. Oh, that's not bad. That's uh, not bad at all. Um, hold on. And then... Um, yeah, they're only in green, so... So you'll have to work hard to build them up. And then the other companion... Yeah, they're not too bad. Is your... My leprechaun. Uh, is leprechaun. Now, your leprechaun, you don't need to use his power. Um... All you need is to get him summoned. leveled up and summoned. So when you get him, I believe he only comes green. Did he come blue? I don't, I don't think so. I think I had to upgrade my one uh, level. Um, he's all, he's, he comes green. And the reason you want him is... is hang on, I'm pulling, I'm pulling, I got him One right of here. his stats here. Manage companions. Yeah, I just brought it up here. Uh, right there, it's called Full of Holds. The Leprechaun's bag is full of holds. Increase your gold gain by 7.5%. Yeah, it's probably best not to tell him, right? Right. Now, the, the Leprechaun uh, here, I think it should be about, um, about 60,000. I think last I checked. I don't know. I bought a lot of uh. them. No, that's because has gone up to 250,000. Has uh, it really? But he needs to be summoned. Yeah, and he's blue already. Oh, yeah. So, hang on, let me. There's one on the market for 250, and the next one's 284. Yeah, oh, that's right, the Repcons are blue. Let me check something here real quick. Inventory. Uh, thank you. There's actually one that's got a bid for 27,000. I don't have a Leprechaun in my account here. They're probably all in my guild bank, which I can't access unless I use my another character, so. But yeah, I bought a bunch of blues. Um, at the time I was buying them, they were like, I think they were like 40,000, and I'm just kind of holding on to them because if they update Mastercraft like they're talking to, they're probably going to jump in price even more. Yeah. So... We're getting ready for 
as, as Necro has said, uh, future stuff. There's a few things I need to still make. Um, I banked my gold here. I got 1,700 gold. Uh, back in the day, when I was Mastercraft 1, I probably had about close to 4,500, almost 5,000 gold. Uh, and I really have done a lot of gold hunting. Uh, now I'm starting to do a lot more gold hunting again because of the fact there is some stuff in the rumor mills about things coming out in Mastercraft. Uh, back in the day, I used to make my weapon sets. Uh, I used to make my bronze, bronze wood, my uh, all my armor, obsidian weapons. Uh, geez, I used to make all sorts of stuff. I would sell them on the market. Uh, it's going to happen again. Something will happen. It better happen. Uh, the lot of effort that we've put in. Uh, we've all. We'll cover tools later uh, on another video. Uh, the there's a few changes I'd like to see them do in Master Crafting. Uh, one, uh, my thing that I really would like to see is uh, when you summon a bank portal instead of just having a uh, a uh, personal bank and a shared bank. Uh, I would like to see a uh, professions bank. bank. Yeah, because I, I transfer stuff between characters all the time, and the only way you can transfer st profession stuff to other characters is actually to mail yourself. Uh, I'm just pulling up my mailbox here, and you can see that I've got stuff that's in my mailbox for my other tunes um, that I'm mailing out. Uh, oh. And when I'm it's doing stuff, you know, I didn't touch this on my professions videos. Um, if you guys are interested, I got them up. Kind of go through the basics of each profession. But to access master crafting, you actually have to be a member of a guild hall that has access to it. At least a level five market to begin. Master yeah, and then crafting. you have to be rank twelve. Uh, a rank twelve to guild hall. Rank 12 guild hall and a level and we'll 5 market. Yeah, we'll cover that on other videos and stuff. We're hitting pretty close to the 30 minute mark here, so we're going to cut this uh, short. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to get a hold of Necrolord and myself. Uh, he has his own YouTube uh, channel, which is. The Necrolord 2002 or 202. And I'm. It's me, Emmelin. I'll put a link. In underneath this video to his uh, page once I get it uploaded uh, that way you can check out his stuff I do have stuff that I'm starting to create uh, I've got videos I'm making right now on upgrading your workshop is what I'm doing uh, Necro's done some pretty good awesome videos on the different profession areas uh, that uh, he's got uh, how to get your jewel crafting up your leather crafting up um, Mo the one I'm making is just alchemy right now, and it's one tune, just showing you how to get started. Uh, but I think that's it for now. I think we covered everything. So again, if you have any questions, uh, throw a like. Uh, again, check out uh, Necro's page. Uh, questions, add a comment. I think yeah. that's it for now. I'm going to say sayonara and Necro. Yep. And thank you. It's been fun doing the video with you. Guys, remember, like, subscribe, leave comments. It helps us all out. Bye.